Hello good people from the YouTube, here's Marcelo Durham once again and today I got my new Squire Affinity that I did a previous video on uh, just a regular review but of course I was not going to stay with the guitar as it was because I bought this for a project I was going to do a modification to it and the modification is done and now it's time to show you what I did so this is the guitar first of all keep this open all the time and now I have to keep it open because as you can see the bridge is going outside the body because this is an American bridge first thing that I change on the guitar I put an American vintage two-point tremolo on this one and it improved the sound a lot but it doesn't fit because the body of these are thinner than an American guitar no issues, I rub it against you know, the body and everything, I didn't feel any pain, no problems. I don't leave the covers, the plastic covers on my guitar anyway, so no big deal. But, here's a surprise. Woo! That's how it is now. So I call this my Stratomaster. Stratomaster? Stratmaster? Anyway, basically it's a Stratocaster uh, pickups, these are the FAT 60s with the uh, Jazz Master or Telecaster configuration, so volume, tone, two pickups, three way switch. Very simple guitar, cheap guitar that I made it sound like a really good, expensive guitar. That's what I love to do with my guitars get something cheap and work on it. That's where I have the most fun out of, you know, for, apart from doing music, but this is what I have the most fun nowadays like building these project guitars. So I paid uh, 200 pounds or well, 199 for for this guitar then 35 for the bridge used and the pickups I already had here so I just needed to move remove from the guitar and put it on also I'm gonna switch the these um, tuning pegs for Mexican uh, vintage ones that I have spare ones here but these are cool these are okay uh, I mentioned this neck before I was gonna change the neck but guess what I love the roll edges of this neck. The uh, fingerboard, although this is an Indian laurel, is much, much better than the ones that came in my classic vibe for some reason. They're not, I cannot feel like holes on it. I don't feel my uh, finger dragging against the grain of the wood. So it's much more smooth. So I'm gonna keep this neck. And what I'm gonna do later is I'm gonna paint here and do the matching headstock on it. That'll be really cool. Uh, but yeah, what I wanted was a mint green pickguard on my burgundy mist new uh, jazz something. Uh, yeah, yes, I'm really happy with it. So I did a comparison of how it was before and how it is now, but to be honest, there's no comparison. If you can see in the pictures that I'm going to put now, um, the pickguards from the original uh, guitar, they are ceramic P90s style pickups. They're not jazz master pickups. They have a lot of output like a lot so there's no point in actually comparing to these FET 60s uh, Stratocaster pickups although these have more output than regular Stratocaster there's nothing to compare to a P90 or anything like that uh, it's actually more interesting to compare this guitar to my Stratocaster uh, which I have a, a FET 50s in the neck and um, and 65 pure vintage 65 on the on the middle and the bridge. In this case I would just compare the neck uh, and the, the bridge with different pickups but it's much more similar than the ones that I had before in this in the other guitar so it doesn't make really sense. It's more like comparing two strats it makes more sense than, sense than comparing a guitar that has two P90s with two 60s, um, fat 60s. But anyway enough of my yakki and uh, let's hear the sounds. <laughs>
of the guitar and all the you know I tried to I was a bit confused to be honest because I had to do the sounds change the whole guitar a bunch of stuff happened here at home so I kind of lost track of the things that I was actually playing but I'm really happy with the guitar this is gonna be my kind of Fushanti machine now it's good to play Red Hot Chili Peppers you use most of the neck and bridge although I love the middle position in this configuration but you know it's, it's something for me to go to gigs that is very light and I cannot I don't need to worry about it because so if something happens to a guitar like this I'm not gonna be crying or anything like that because I can easily substitute for anyone but that was the thing to have a, a kind of a second strat a cheaper and lighter one but still with good sound and and, and that's it and uh, thank you for watching and if you want to know the review of the original how it used to be uh, there's a video on it, I'm gonna put a link somewhere here around. Also, I'd like to mention, I put a new song out uh, for you guys who don't know me. I have two solo records on Spotify, but these are in Portuguese. I'm doing a third solo record now that is in English, since I moved to London and I live here now. Um, I'm half British, half Brazilian, by the way. But anyway, uh, the point is that I have this new song here, it's called Ex Expectations, and I did a little video kind of playing live. Uh, on top of the backing track of the record and if you feel interested you know in hearing my new song just uh, click on the link that I'm gonna put here in the end and that's it uh, don't forget to subscribe and and uh, see you next time thank you for watching bye